February, March 2023, paper 4, variant 2. Question 1. Part A. The most common zinc mineral contains zinc 2 sulfide. Part 1. Complete the electron in the boxes diagram in figure 1.1 to show electronic configuration of zinc 2 ion. Okay, the electron configuration for zinc is argon 3d10 for S2. Zinc 2 ion is uh, remove 2 electron from the 4s, so now become argon 3d10. So this uh, orbital diagram, you have to fill up the 3d um, subshell. And in the 3d subshell, it has 5 orbitals. So each orbital need to fill in two electron with different spin. So here is 3d10, 10 electrons in there, fully filled. Part two, complete this figure, um, means that this von Hebel diagram of, uh, for this uh, ionic solid, okay, uh, zinc sulfide. Uh, so this is just, uh, uh, certain part you need to fill up okay so just start from the these uh, elements so elements to form the zinc sulfide solid so it must be zinc solid and sulfur solid so we follow this uh, enthalpy the first enthalpy here is the atomization of zinc means zinc solid now need to form gases atom so it's from zinc gas. And second enthalpy now is atomization of sulfur. So the sulfur solid now need to form gases atom. After that is IE1 for zinc. So it will form zinc positive. Okay, gases ion. Release one electron and the sulfur still gases atom. Then continue here, IE2, zinc plus, now going to release another electron. So it's from the zinc 2 positive. And these two electrons will gain by sulfur and form the, uh, this uh, sulfide. After that, gains another electron to form this S2 negative. So this is the how you fill up okay, the von Hebel cycle. Okay, very easy. Part 3. Describe the trend in the first EA of the group 16 from the sulfur to this TE. Okay, so it's actually down group 16. We know that when down group 16, so the size of the atom is uh, larger. So size larger, nuclear attraction towards the incoming electron is weaker. The electron uh, first you need to describe means uh, you have to uh, mention so what is the electron affinity is less exo or more exo okay down the group electron affinity become less exothermic why because when down the group the atomic radii increases okay which means more shielding of outer shell because it's larger more electron shell more shielding so when there is a more shielding than the nuclear attraction towards the incoming electron, let's say now electrons out there, okay, want to uh, form, <clears throat> want to get into this atom. So uh, the attraction of the sulfur is greater than the others. Okay, because the nuclear attraction is greatest for sulfur. Okay, the TE here is a small electron shell, more shielding. So less nuclear attractions towards the incoming electron. That's why uh, the uh, it will be less exo when down the group. Okay, part four. Explain why the latest energy of zinc oxide is more exothermic than zinc sulfide. Okay, so we know that oxide and sulf uh, sulfide they are in the same group. Uh, the oxide is uh, smaller size. Sulfide is larger. It has more electron shell. Okay, so we know that the charge 
for this uh, oxide and sulfide same is uh, two negative but the size of the oxide is smaller so we know that the charge density for this oxide is greater so you can uh, you can say that the, the greater charge density for oxide or you just mentioned the, the same charge okay but the smaller radius than this uh, sulfide okay therefore the it will be a stronger ionic bonds form between the zinc ion and the oxide okay because the charge density of the oxide is greater so therefore attractions between the zinc ion and the oxide is stronger release more energy or uh, is uh, more exo so that's why it's a stronger ionic bonds form Okay, part B. Zinc metal can be obtained in two-step process as shown in this uh, step one and step two. So uh, from the first step we know that the zinc sulfide reacts with oxygen from zinc oxide and uh, from another SO2. So we uh, try to look at the gas, the numbers of moles of gas that uh, involved. Before reaction, there are three moles of gas. So it means it's going to be more random. More gas molecule is more random. Entropy is higher. After reaction, now the gas molecules uh, is, uh, for, uh, is uh, reduced to two moles. From three moles to two moles means the randomness decreases. So when randomness decreases means the entropy change will be negative. So therefore, for part one, predict the sign of this um, entropy change. For step one, so we know that the entropy change will be negative because the gas mole reduced from three moles to two moles. It becomes less random. Part two. Use the data in table 1.1. Calculate the delta S for the reaction in step 2. Uh, step 2 is this. Uh, we need to use the entropy, molar entropy of the reactant and the products here. Okay, so it's given in this table. So we just use the sum of the, the products minus the sum of the reactant. So we'll get this entropy, positive 199.1 Joule per Kelvin per mole. Okay, remember, is the molar entropy, the sum of molar entropy of the products minus the reactant. So we get this. So now uh, part three, we have uh, another reaction. Uh, the <coughs> reactions between the zinc sulfide and carbon from zinc and the CS2. So uh, enthalpy already given, entropy already given. This reaction is not feasible at 800 uh, degrees C. Calculate the delta G to prove that it's not feasible. Okay, so first uh, you need to know the Gibbs uh, equation. So delta G equal to delta H minus T delta S. Okay, so substitute the enthalpy that uh, given, 733. Okay, the temperature need to be Kelvin, so 800 okay, plus 273. Okay, remember, entropy you have to convert to from Joule to kilojoule, so the delta S now you need to divide by 1000. Okay, after that, delta G you should get positive 499.1 kilojoule per mole. So the delta G now is positive, so it's proved that uh, this reaction is not feasible at 800 degrees C. Okay, part C. Zinc nitrate undergo thermal decomposition when heated, reaction similar to the group 2 nitrate. Okay, construct the equations for the thermal decomposition for this zinc nitrate. Uh, so since uh, this one is similar to the uh, group 2 nitrate, therefore it will form the three products. It will form the oxide, NO2 and O2. So, so the ratio is 2, 2, 4, 1. 
Okay, this one you should know. Part two. The radii of some group two cation and zinc ion okay, are shown in this table 1.2. So all these are uh, uh, radius already given. So state and explain the trend in the thermal stability of group two nitrate down the group. Uh, group two nitrate, so we just uh, look at the uh, group two cation first. So we know that the size of the cation is increases down the group so therefore we know that the thermal stability increases means uh, down the group is hard to decompose okay because the cationic radius increases and when the cationic radius increases means the charge density of the group 2 cation also now become lesser so size larger, charge is the same. So therefore, the charge density of group 2 cation lesser and less polarization okay, of the nitrate ion or less distortion on the nitrate ion. Therefore, the <coughs> NO bond is uh, get less weakening. Means it's harder to break. Okay, part three. Use table 1.2 to suggest which group 2 nitrate are less thermally stable than zinc nitrate. Uh, obviously, is the uh, magnesium ion because magnesium ion is uh, radius is uh, smaller than zinc, so it's 65. Zinc is 74, means the the magnesium ion is has the greater charge density, more polarizing power. It can distort the nitrate easier and therefore the NO bond will get weakened easily so therefore okay answer is magnesium nitrate okay that's all for this question thank you